Hey, what's up? I'm Randy Bly, and you're watching Artisan News. The Randy Bly photo exhibition titled Show Me What You're Made Of debuted May 2nd at the Sacred Gallery in New York City. Fans got to look and buy some of the photo artwork taken by the Lamb of God vocalist throughout his many travels over the years. Randy explained that he didn't set out to be a photographer. Uh, me being a photographer was entirely by accident. And I had this plan I was going to unplug from the internet, right? And I was going to write a book about it. So I tell my friend Jamie Josta this plan. And we're on this airplane and I go through the whole spiel and I explain it to him. And I'm like, and I'm going to write this book and explain the book. And at the end, he looks at me and he goes, okay, here's how we're going to do the movie. So I started shooting some stuff for this documentary. And then I started shooting some skateboarding videos, you know, all video. And then one day I was in my kitchen and I look at my coffee pot and I see it's got a dome top and I see the, I'm looking weird reflection in it. Like, I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Let me try and use this camera for what it's actually made for. And I put it on automatic on the dummy setting and I pointed it there and I went and I looked at it and I was like, that is freaking cool looking, you know? And that was about four years ago, I guess. And since then, it's been, you know, an obsession of mine. With Lamb of God hailing from the Richmond, Virginia area, the death of Guar leader David Brocky hit him hard, and he has a special photograph dedicated to the late frontman and one of the groups that influenced him as a youngster. Dave was a really important part of my life and of the life of my band. Uh, for this exhibit, like, there's a piece I shot over there, it's called Guar Will Never Die, and I shot it at the Guarbecue, which is the first appearance Guar played without Dave since he had died. And I shot it side stage, I was standing beside Jello Biafra. And I, you know, it's a picture of the audience. It was during the last song, and the blood was flying, and, and this could only happen at a Guar show. People are getting covered in blood, and everybody's crying because they're sad, you know, because they miss Dave. And I was crying too, and I was looking, I got this shot, and then when it came time to do this, the gallery owner was like, you know, do you want to do something for charity? I'm like, of course, you know. So that photo, uh, we had it framed, I printed it, had it framed, it's an addition of two. That means only two will ever be made. One will go to the slave pit, you know, I got to get that printed and framed for them, that, present to them. The other one is here at the gallery for auction and the gallery owner and I are donating 100% of the sale, not taking anything, uh, either of us. 100% um, of the sale goes to Art 180, which is a nonprofit in Richmond, Virginia, where me and Dave are from. And it supports art programs for young adults and children ages 8 to 18 who don't have access to these things from like, you know, economically depressed homes and stuff. So what would he consider a success with the exhibition? Artistically, a success I would consider is that the stuff looks awesome printed out because I'd never like ever printed any stuff before, right? And I was nervous. I was like, what if it looks like shit? <laughs> this is going to be a bad gallery opening, you know? So artistically, uh, I, you know, I'm not a jackass. I'm not going to say I'm the greatest photographer in the world because I'm not. And I see people's stuff that like blows my mind. But I fairly objectively, I think, can look around and say that this stuff looks really good to me. So it's kind of shocking. I'm like, ah. Artistically, that's a success. Uh, artistically, it's a success because the gallery opening was packed and people had a good time. Financially, I, I would consider it a success if I broke even because I spent a lot of money getting this done and I have done that plus some. So and it's going to make the gallery a little bit of money, you know, so that's that's a success. It's important people don't understand where I mean, we're in Manhattan. Rent ain't cheap here, you know, and this is a big space that could be used for something else besides hanging my shitty pictures. Finally, I will consider it a really big success if we get, you know, a decent amount of money for the Brocky piece. Fans who are in the Northeast can check out Randy's exhibition at the gallery located at 424 Broadway in New York City. 
The show will run through June 30th, 2015. Fans can also go to sacredgallery.com and check it out. In the meantime, we'll let Randy take you on a tour of some of the more interesting pieces at the gallery. In the crowd because it's a really mellow place and this guy walks up to me and he goes, do you want to light me on fire? And I'm like, that's kind of a...